good morning. I am going to do a quick vlog because I just did one and it cut me off, so I'm going to try again real quick. Um, today is VLCD 7, 8, 9, 10, I believe. I think it's VLCD 10. And um, today I finally had a 1.4 pound release, which was great because I just spent the last three days with goose eggs or gains. Um, three days ago I had a goose egg, the next day I had a .2 gain, and the next day I had a .4 gain. So, you know, that kind of sucked being in the single digits of VLCDs and having that go on, but it was definitely contributed to my ovulation because, uh, because last night I ovulated, I felt it, and then today I had my release. So, my body's just super sensitive to that, I guess, you know? Um, so, what else? Um, so, 12... 11.8, I think I'm at like 12.8 or something um, as of today. And um, I, as I posted on the Facebook page, if any of you saw, I'm having hunger issues. Like I'll, I'll have hunger when it's normal, like when it's time for breakfast or lunch or whatever. But then like I'll eat a snack and then 30 minutes later I'm really hungry again like I never even ate, which is just new to me. It's, it's nothing I've ever experienced before. Um, Karen mentioned that it's probably just because I'm getting smaller and that happens and other people have had that happen. I did adjust my dose today to, to 120 even, so we'll see if that helps and I'll do that for a few days. Um, hopefully that helps because that hunger is just god awful. Like I just want to stuff my face with anything and everything I can get my hands on. Um, I have been drinking water trying to make it go away and that doesn't necessarily work either. So it's really... It's been challenging, and Hubby's uh, been challenged as well. He's been stalled for three or four days now. Um, obviously, he's not ovulating, so something else is going on there, but we're not sure what exactly. I'm just hoping he doesn't get discouraged because he really didn't want to do this round, but then, you know, when I said I was doing mine, he's like, well, I guess I'll do mine too. It's just easier that way if we're both on it, but I don't think he was really mentally prepared for it, so sometimes that makes it challenging, and it could be stress and whatever so who knows but he's surging forward which is good he knows that this will pass and he'll start losing again we just want to make sure that he's not doing anything wrong by mistake you know sometimes that happens he's on uh he's on the amino diet most of you know he doesn't do hcg um it's a similar protocol but a little bit different a lot more calories uh, a little bit more food variety actually a lot more food variety so so anyway, that's it with HCG. Um, what else? The adoption stuff is going well. This week uh, we should have the father sign off his parental rights, which will be a big hurdle. And then um, yesterday I contacted a couple uh, of hospitals where Haley could potentially deliver at, where her doctor has admitting rights at. So um, we're going to go tour both of them and find which one we feel is suitable for her and what she feels more comfortable most comfortable with. Uh, one of the things we are looking to do is get our own private room for Frank and I so that um, Haley can have her privacy and get her rest after the baby is delivered. Um, Haley's mom did let me know this week that um, she spoke to the lawyer's office and they're, my lawyer's office and they're trying to figure out, you know, how things are going to look and they asked, you know, does she want to hold the baby after it's delivered? Does she want to feed the baby? This and that. And Haley's mom let me know that um, they want all those decisions to be up to me, but they would like for me to hold the baby first, which is pretty amazing. Like, you know, I don't expect that at all. Um, it's an honor to me to be able to do that. So I uh, let her know that. And I also said, you know, if Haley changes her mind, that's okay too, because, you know, um, she may, you know, the hormones and she just might change her mind. I think logically she knows what she wants to do, but then when the emotions and the hormones come into play, that could very well change. So I fully expect that it can. Um, but if they, if they do follow through with that, then, um, I, like I said, I feel very blessed and honored, um, to have that privilege. So it's hard to believe that <laughs> the baby's going to be here in early December. Like we're going to be parents very soon. And it's exciting and it's scary and it's freaking me out a little bit, but it's good in a good way, not in a bad way. So, so anyway, um, I think that is about it. I am headed to work. I have a doctor's appointment today with my primary GP. I was going to get all of my blood work rerun, my thyroid levels and all these other things, but I'm on HCG. 
So my, I didn't realize that that was going to happen. I scheduled this appointment months ago. So my naturopath said, you know, she would wait until I'm off HCG just in case it does skew the numbers. So I'm going to go see my doctor and then just have her write up the, the blood lab for me request. And then I'll just hang on to it till this round is over and then go get it done. So, um, I think that's it guys. I'm going to let you go before I get cut off. I think it'll cut me off any minute now. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm been trying to catch up on vlogs and um, and see what everyone's up to so um, it's been so busy at work it's been crazy and then also with taking care of all this hay you know the adoption stuff and and that I just haven't had a lot of spare time but I've been trying to uh, keep up so I'll talk to you guys soon love you bye